Hey everybody, it's Barbara Schwartz. How are you today? I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, we had are enjoying beautiful weather. Uh, I know I didn't post yesterday, but, but I had a standard vegetable day, my roasted veggies. Um, I had a nice apple, actually honey crisp, straight from the farm, which was wonderful. And uh, I had some grapes and I had a nice simple veggie day. Now today is veggie day number two. And one of my favorite things in the autumn is baked acorn squash. On top of it, my daughter and I were invited to a get together at our friend's house. We have a few friends who are in what I'll call our little bubble or a pod, who we do have outdoor play dates with. And we were invited to their house and they've got an open fire pit and they're planning to do some hot dogs and hamburgers and things which obviously I can't partake in. So the best thing I could think of was prepping for myself, one of my favorites, so that, you know, there'll be tempting aromas. I'll bring some peppermint oil to dab on my upper lip. But if I'm having something I enjoy while they're having something I also enjoy, I'm not gonna feel deprived because I'm having something that I truly enjoy. And so I'm gonna make acorn squash with Granny Smith apples. Now we have a couple of different versions of this on our website. This is slightly different, so I'm gonna do a variation and then we'll follow up by posting this during the week. So um, the, new, um, the new recipe or variation on recipe will be available on the website, but you can follow along. Now I've already preheated the oven or it's preheating to 400. So what, oh, it just beeped, so we're at 400. So what I've done in prep, is I've gotten, here's all the ingredients I need. I've got an acorn squash because I really need two hands and it takes a minute. I've already taken the liberty of slicing it in half. It goes best if you slice it lengthwise. So if you look, that's uh, lengthwise, not in half horizontally, so vertically. Um, I use some sweetener. In this case, I'm gonna use up I'm at the bottom of the box of my swerve, so I'm using that. And I've got the Granny Smith apple and I like it with some fresh cinnamon. Um, you just need a baking pan. I'm doing it in something uh, disposable because this way I can take it with me to the barbecue. So I'm gonna do my best to lean this here because I do need two hands. So we're gonna try what we did the other day is I just took a bowl over here. Normally I would do this over the garbage disposal or <laughs> the garbage can, but we're just gonna scoop out the seeds and I'll call it the gook. That's how you can tell I'm not a professional chef. I don't know what you call these things. But you get all the strands and everything out of the acorn squash. And also this is, um, I'm excited because I got this at the local farm as well. So I'm guessing this is gonna be even tastier than usual, all the things I get from our local farm. Um, it's called De Piro's. So a little shout out to them. They are amazing. Um, they've been in our area for years and they still, they sold some of the property. We have a Wegmans and a whole uh, shopping center now because they sold off some of their property, but they still have a small farm. So I've just hollowed that out and I'm gonna do the other half. I'm gonna bake both halves today. So usually I'll bake one half and put the other aside for a second day but I don't think I'm gonna have a chance for any other veggies today. So I think I'm gonna have both halves as my entire meal today. And I'm only gonna use one apple, so I might have some grapes or some melon or something else for my other uh, fruit today. So again, I'm just cleaning out the seeds. So it's a nice quick, and it's not perfect, but that's okay. Um, I got the seeds out. There's still a little bit of the mush, but I don't find that that tastes bad or anything. So I have just put that, let's see. So let me see if I can turn this around. So I've just put them into the baking dish. And again, I just lined it with aluminum because um, I'm going to be taking this with us when we go to the barbecue. So the next thing is we need to cut up our Granny Smith apple. I've already washed it. And, you know, you're supposed to, uh, they say, oh, hang on my phone. let me move the cutting board over here so I can be with you guys. Um, you know, you're supposed to peel the skin off. I don't bother. So I just slice up my apple. I like nice big chunks. So, you know, I happen to love apple skin. 
and I don't find it really hurts the recipe, at least my personal taste. So I just leave it on and cut into that. And I'm just cutting it into nice big chunks. I might actually go a little smaller because the opening to this, it's a small squash. So I think I'm gonna go a little smaller. And uh, somebody told me earlier today they'd love kind of cooking along with me or following along watching the video again later. So I'm glad that we could do this together and happy to share the journey. I'm happy to say that, you know, Today is day seven on the program. I'm already down six pounds. I can, I can, I don't know if you can tell a weird video angle, but I can start to see it in my face. I've gotten really, from my perspective, kind of a bloated look on my face. And I was not happy because I could see it in my face. And now I'm starting to look like myself again. And that feels good, right? When we do this, it's not so much about the scales, how we feel. I'm definitely starting to get more energy and feel good. Um, so just slicing up the apple. And again, I, I like little tiny knife. We have our fun little design. And before I put the apple inside, I might need a little more, we'll see. The first thing I do is I sprinkle some sweetener. So let's see, we'll do this one handed. I'm gonna flip back. So I sprinkle the sweetener onto the acorn squash. I have a second packet just in case, but one packet usually is enough for the whole thing. Kind of almost gives it a sweet potato kind of taste, so I do that. And then I sprinkle it with, I'm just using, instead of grating some fresh, I'm using, you know, some and I like to sprinkle. I'm a cinnamon girl, so I like to really get some good cinnamon in there. And I'll put some more on later. And then let's see how we're doing with the apple. I'm just gonna fill that with some apple. I might need to cut some more. And, okay, so I am, so we now have our Squash is in the oven, and I'm gonna have it in the oven for about half an hour. Then in about half an hour, I am going to uncover it. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little more cinnamon, so some cinnamon gets on top of the apple as well. I will see, um, it, I like the tartness of Granny Smith. If you like to mitigate that, um, you can add a little more sweetener sprinkled on top with the cinnamon after you've uncovered it and keep an eye on it. It's going to be probably another 25 to 35 minutes. So at about 25 minutes in, I check just by putting a fork into the flesh to check the tenderness. And, um, when it's soft, it's ready to come out of the oven. And as I said, I'm going to take it with me. We're going to our friends around three o'clock and, um, I might have a little bit before we go, um, or I might, I've got some fresh green beans. I might have those as a snack just to have something between now and uh, the evening. Again, I'm going to finish by six o'clock, but now I'm going to have a wonderful, hearty, tasty dish while everybody else is having some barbecue. I'm not going to feel deprived. I'm going to have something that I genuinely enjoy. Um, I see some people are sending some notes. Let me see if there's anything. Somebody said, oh, I tried this recipe. It was great. I used coffee spice sugar-free syrup. Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't know if that was meant to say pumpkin spice. Coffee spice. I've never heard that. Um, anyway, so it's nice to see all of you. I'm glad you joined me. Definitely give it a try. Um, tomorrow, I think I put out there at 2.15, I'm going to be making AccuWeight cheese. Now, you can make it with cow's milk or with goat's milk. I'm gonna be making goat cheese. I've only done it once before. Um, it came out really good, so I'm gonna give it a shot. So we're gonna take the risk. But if you feel like joining along with me on my previous post, um, or if you go to the AccuWeight website and look under Milk Days, AccuWeight Cheese, all the ingredients are there. It's really simple. You essentially need 10 ounces of cow's milk, or if you're gonna do like me, goat's milk for goat cheese. Um, one ounce of 
real lemon, lemon juice. So not lemon juice from a lemon. Remember, it's a milk day and we can't have fruit on a milk day. But real lemon, which is from concentrate, can be used as a milk day on a milk day. So that we use that to separate the curds and whey. And some salt, spices and seasonings, whatever you want to give some flavor to the milk or to the cheese. And you're gonna need a cheesecloth, a little pan to heat the milk on the stove, and uh, a bowl. And that's it, it's nice and simple. So the only ingredients are milk. Again, you can use cow or goat. They're interchangeable for accurate purposes. And for those of you who are lactose intolerant like me, goat milk is actually um, easier on the digestion. It's lower in lactose, so uh, it works really well. I've made it with lactose-free milk, so if you're lactose intolerant, you can make lactose-free cheese with lactose-free milk. And again, so it's just milk, real lemon or some kind of lemon juice from concentrate, salt, spice and seasonings, and important is cheesecloth. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, I will post later a picture of the final product. Um, again, it's gonna be about an hour until it's ready, so I'm not gonna keep all of you, but I thank you for joining me and I'll check in again later. Have a good day.